Hello and welcome to the show. Donald Trump said Thursday that he and First Lady Melania Trump have urged their son Barron to steer clear of e-cigarettes, making it clear that their parenting style is in sync with their policy prescriptions. With Melania at his side on Wednesday, the president announced that his administration will move to ban flavored e-cigs from the US marketplace, saying the point was to remove the temptation from children's paths. Dailymail.com asked him Thursday as he left the White House to share what he and the First Lady had told Barron 13 about the hot button issue. We haven't told him anything except don't vape. Don't vape, the President responded. We don't like vaping, I don't like vaping, he said. The President said Wednesday that vaping is very dangerous, children have died and we're going to have some very strong rules and regulations. The Food and Drug Administration will soon publish a draft regulation banning flavoured e-cigs after hundreds of Americans became victims of a mysterious illness linked to the nicotine delivery devices. Not only is it a problem overall, but really specifically with respect to children, Trump said, adding that we may very well have to do something very, very strong about it. Like all first families that include minor children, the Trump have been protective of Barron and take steps to keep him out of the non-stop news cycles that are a prominent feature of the president's day to day. But he made it clear Wednesday in the Oval Office that Melania feels very, very strongly about the dangers of e-cigs, specifically because they are raising a teenage son. Trump said the First Lady has become engaged in the dangers of vaping. Nicotine, the main active chemical in both cigarettes and vape oils, is most strongly addictive in younger people. We can't allow people to get sick and we can't have our youth be so effective, the president told journalists in the Oval Office. And I'm hearing it and that's how the First Lady got involved. She's got a son. We have together that is a beautiful young man and she feels very strongly about it he said she's seen it we're both reading it a lot of people are reading it but people are dying with vaping the president added wednesday that e-cig companies can afford to contend with new roadblocks to the youth market they've become a very rich companies very fast he told reporters and the whole thing with vaping is very profitable a lot of people think vaping is wonderful it's great he said it's really not wonderful Federal law already prohibits e-cigarette and all other tobacco sales to those under 18. The FDA has had the authority since 2016 to ban vaping flavours, but has been slow to take that step because some researchers wanted to explore whether flavours could help smokers quit traditional cigarettes. Parents, teachers and health advocates have increasingly called for a crackdown, saying flavours like mint and mango are overwhelmingly to blame for a recent surge in underage vaping particularly with small discrete devices such as jewels. A 2009 law banned all flavours from regular cigarettes except a menthol. That law did not apply to e-cigarettes which were then a tiny segment of the tobacco market. Thank you.